Instead of celebrating the day he would have turned 21 years old, Brandon Chiklis's family sat in a courtroom today to face the woman accused of killing him. Yeah, I'm sure it's very difficult for the family and my heart goes out to them. 21-year-old Julia Enright is charged with his murder. Chiklis's body was discovered earlier this month along Route 119 in Ringe. His car found at a nearby grocery store. The New Hampshire medical examiner observed numerous wounds and ruled that the death was a homicide. On June 23rd, the Westminster, Massachusetts man was reported missing after he was supposed to visit family in Wyndham. Cell phone records from that same day show he was at Enright's home in Ashburnham. She also stated that they had spent uh, the day together at her residence. She indicated that they had been drinking alcohol and that the victim in that case had left to purchase narcotics but never returned. She was arrested last night after lab test results showed Chiklis' blood on a tree house near Enright's home. And it was determined that the victim's blood was present on the stairs leading to the tree house, on the inside of the tree house, under the tree house, and in the defendant's vehicle. Prosecutors say the tree house was recently clean. When the rug was removed, it appeared that blood had seeped down through the floorboards of the tree house down underneath. It's still not clear how Chiklis died, but investigators say he had been classmates with and right at a vocational school. This was a very thorough investigation, it included the work of the state police in New Hampshire and the attorney general's office in New Hampshire I want to thank. Enright pleaded not guilty. Right now she is being held without bail and will be back at this courtroom next month. Her attorney declined to answer any questions after the arraignment. Reporting live in Gardner, Massachusetts, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.